T-Mobile has some of the most cost-effective plans in the market, but they also offer a lot in the way of international data and roaming, making it really easy for you to access your cell phone plan abroad. Today, I am breaking down the cost and details of the Minternational Pass, helping you decide if it's worth it and if it works well enough abroad. All right, so first, what is the Mint International add-on pass? Well, Mint has a lot of deals with different carriers around the world in different countries, making sure that you have access to your cell phone plan wherever you are for the most part. The great part to this pass is that it comes with three different tiers and price points, so you have a few options depending on your travel needs. The cheapest option is a one-day $10 pass. With that, you get one gigabyte of data, 60 texts, and 60 talking minutes. The second option is a 20-day, three-day pass, which gives you three gigabytes of data, 200 talking minutes, and 200 texts. And the last option, which is the most expensive, but probably the one that is best suited for heavy data users, is the $40 seven-day, 10 gigabyte, and 500 texts, and 500 talking minutes add-on pass. One thing to note here is that if you do somehow run out of the data on either of those, you can still access data, but your speeds will be slowed. But if you want more high speed premium data, you can go ahead and buy another pass. So how do you use this pass? Well, it's really easy. Before you're able to use it, you do need to add it onto your plan and you can do that all through the Mint Mobile app. So where is this pass available? How many countries are allowed on this list? Where can you travel to with it? And that is a hard one to answer. There is a lot of countries, not every single one, but most most of the common and even off the beaten path destinations will allow you to use your Mint Mobile Pass abroad. Here's a few of them that we're showing right now on screen. If you don't see the one you're looking for, you can definitely go to Mint Mobile's website that I'm linking below to double check that your destination makes the cut. So is the Mint International Pass add-on worth it? Well, in my opinion, if you're going for a short trip, say two weeks or less, I think it might be, especially if you're a low data user, that seven day pass might be perfect. But if you're traveling for longer than that, it might be worthwhile to look into a different way of access accessing your data. See, for me, when I travel for long periods of time, I either get a local cell phone plan or I just decide to use Wi-Fi only. It might seem easier to just keep re-upping a international pass with Mint Mobile, but that cost could add up pretty quickly. If you're traveling for four weeks and need data every day, then you might be paying 40 bucks a week for a cell phone plan, and that just doesn't really make sense. So just be sure to keep an eye on the length of your trip and how much data you're using and decide from there which way to access the internet and stay in communication with friends and family is best for you. All right, that's it for today. What do you think of the new Mint International add-on pass? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I'm Sherry, your telecom expert with Whistle Out.